Hey guys, before we get into the video, did you know I have a podcast? I have a weekly podcast called Very Really Good. You know, we talk about some funny stuff, we watch some silly videos. Sometimes I got guests on there like Hank Green or D'Angelo Wallace or even the Da Vinci Twins. So yeah, if you want to subscribe to the podcast channel, it's in the description. Appreciate the support and uh, hope you enjoy the video. See ya. Okay, folks. Over the years, I've made three videos about people lying on the internet for attention. And um, they're a lot of fun. I don't know if they're fun for you, but I have a lot of fun when I look at these posts of people lying because they're always so obvious, it's amazing. And whenever I see a long text post of someone lying, I picture them typing it like this. <laughs> and I laugh every time because that's so goddamn fun. And it's been a while since I made one of these videos. The last one I did was in 2019. You guys remember that year? 2019, the last time we were all truly happy. Crazy. And with so many huge historical cultural events that have taken place since the year 2019. There's been a lot of misinformation and propaganda that has been spread on the internet. And those are just big fancy words for lies. So I thought now was a great time to revisit this topic of people lying on the internet. Cause we gotta put an end to this man. People are lying all the time. I'm fucking lying to you right now. Look. Yeah, none of this is real. We don't exist. Attention. Assassin gamers, what did you do with Big Jungle? Yeah. We know you're the sus imposter, and I saw you. Okay, this is real now, I think. This is. Real background, okay? All right, without further ado, let's look at some lies. Oh my God, dude, are you kidding me with that? This is a certified lie, dude. You gotta be kidding me with this. Okay, now this? You expect me to believe this? This is a pure lie. Oh my God, bro. Stop lying. <laughs> okay, sorry. I'm lying. Video starting now. The first internet lie that we're gonna look at today comes from the rejected Batman villain of YouTube, Jake Paul. I was eating eggs for breakfast this morning, scrolling through Twitter, when a small piece of an egg came out of my mouth and landed upon my iPhone screen, favoriting a tweet on my timeline. I'm sat here wondering if the egg really liked the tweet or if this was just an accident. Dude, it'd be so funny if he like wasn't even eating eggs for breakfast, you know? Yeah, so I was eating Fruit Loops this morning. A piece of an egg came out of my mouth. I'm really scared. But back to this tweet. I highly doubt this happened. I mean, I don't doubt that a piece of an egg came out of his mouth and fell onto his phone because for sure this guy eats with his mouth wide open. Look at him. I think Jake Paul actually grew a beard because so much food was falling out of his mouth and he needed something to catch it. Has food ever fallen out of my mouth before? Absolutely, I'm only human. But when that happens to Jake Paul, it's bad and gross and I hate him for it. You know what? Just to prove Jake wrong, let's go test this out. Okay, I made egg and uh, I got a camera here recording this. I'm trying to make this as scientific as possible. So my hypothesis, not not gonna work. It's not, there's no chance. Okay, actually on second thought, you know when, you know when you like just start a new Twitter account and you don't have a profile picture yet? So it just, it just gives you the egg. Oh my God. I don't know, dude. Maybe Twitter coded something into their app that lets you like tweets with egg I don't, I don't know so i'm gonna do my own tweet i'm just gonna tweet egg it'll be super random to the people who see it right now but when the video comes out it'll make a bunch of sense so i'm gonna go send tweet mm. moment of truth guys oh i'm jake paul just about to eat an egg oh no dude this fucking liar he's lying to us see if i can just like it with it what am i doing <laughs> What the fuck am I doing, man? Okay. Okay. Okay, that's weird. So you can like a tweet with an A. I'm not, I mean, I'm not, I'm not really sure what to do with this information, but I don't know if you can drop it on and then have it like it, you know? Uh, well, that was a fun experiment. I'm glad I did that. Uh, let's go back to my room. Or like, like fake, fake call. Okay, that was a fun little goofy one to start off with, but we're gonna move on now to some more serious lies. Lying about an egg is one thing, you know, we've all done it. But lying about something serious, 
like vaccines and, you know, just public health. Super shitty thing to do. And I know talking about COVID and the vaccines can be a little tricky because, you know, some people just don't want to get the vaccine or they don't want to wear a mask, you know, because it's their own personal choice. And I think that's great. You can do whatever you want. Even though that personal choice of yours puts the general public at risk and allows the already dangerous virus to mutate and become more dangerous and infectious as time goes on, essentially killing thousands and forcing the economy to collapse over and over again because of impending lockdowns and failing businesses, all because you won't get a simple free needle in your arm. So yeah, totally a personal choice. So if you don't want to get the vaccine, you're fucking cool, man. Wow, you're so awesome, dude. We're peasants. We're peasants compared to you. We are beneath you. You should be on a separate planet for cool people who get tons of pussy, I'm sure. Sorry. It's just fucking annoying, you know? And it's one thing to not want the vaccine, but to go on the internet and just spread lies about it? Whoa. (laughs) Whole other kind of shitty. Like this one. I asked my son who works at a computer software manufacturer if he ever heard of graphene oxide. Sorry, a little context here. Uh, So there's apparently a Facebook article going around saying that the COVID vaccine had graphene oxide in it and that it had like little like nanotechnology that will like (laughs) control the human population. But if you just Google it really quick, you find out that it's obviously not fucking true. So that's what this is about. So I asked my son who works at a computer software manufacturer if you ever heard of graphene oxide. And he said, yeah, they're using it to create artificial intelligence systems. When I told him that's what was in the jab, his jaw dropped. His words were drones. They are making drones. If people out there think this is true, they think the vaccine will turn you into a drone and they still don't want to get it? What's it gonna take? To me, that sounds fucking awesome. I get to be a flying robot? Okay, dude, even if they're like, hey, dude, this this will actually give you COVID, but you'll be a fucking drone. I'd be like, okay, yep. Insert it. Put it in me. Flying robots can't get sick. Fill me up. Also, <laughs> out of all the vaccine conspiracy theories, this is the craziest one for sure. What? How do you even think of this? They are making drones. Hot boy summer? No, sir. It is a drone boy summer. Yo, just got the vaccine, dude. What's the move? You guys need any aerial footage of the woods? I'm your guy. All right, we got another one that pertains to uh, the vaccine. This is one of those posts where someone will transcribe a very real conversation they had to show you how smart and witty they are in their everyday life. This one comes from Todd Starnes. He's verified on Facebook. So let's see what this guy does. Oh, what the (laughs) fuck? Oh, no. I feel bad. Oh, God, K, just not a real guy. What the fuck? Who photoshopped this? Why does he look like that? Dude looks like a fucking earwax sculpture. Why does he look like that? Okay, sorry. That photo really caught me off guard. Okay, Todd Starnes, author of popular books like Silencing the Lambs, God Less America, and who could forget the classic? They popped my hood and found gravy on the dipstick. Real book title, real book cover. Gross. Okay, so this is his post. Store clerk. Sir, have you been vaccinated? Me. Do you have a sexually transmitted disease? Store clerk. Flustered. That's none of your business. Me. Exactly. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna buy my Nutter Butters somewhere else. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! What is the point he's trying to make? Asking someone if they're vaccinated is not the same as asking someone if they have herpes. I mean, maybe if you're having sex with every single person you're coming into close contact with, then maybe. Yeah, that's a fair question. But I don't think you're doing that, Todd. (laughs) Like, this is why I hate political commentators so much. Like, they use the literal dumbest reasoning to back up their shitty take, and they walk around like they're the smartest people in the world. And yeah, I'll do the exact same thing. But at least I don't pretend like I'm some genius. I simply am a genius. And also, hey, Todd, this didn't happen. You know, okay, you know what we're gonna do? For any fake situation someone posts about, for any fake situation that we read in this video, I'm gonna recreate it, like, using my green screen. Because when it's just text, I feel like our brains try to, like, fill in the gaps and, like, try to rationalize it to be like, yeah, maybe that did happen. Because humans are, like, the most gullible species ever. I say that like I'm not also a human. I am. (laughs) I may be a genius, but I'm still one of you. Don't worry. But yeah, I think seeing these situations in not text form will prove that they didn't fucking happen. So I present to you the Nutter Butter incident. Sir, have you been vaccinated? Do you have a sexually transmitted disease? That's none of your business. Exactly. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to buy my Nutter Butters somewhere else. And based on my logic, 
since we've come into close contact with each other, we have to have sex now. Okay, yeah, that's fair. There's about to be a bunch of gravy on my dipstick. Okay, never mind. I actually think that sentence just gave me herpes. Oh. Not again. Okay, enough of the vaccine stuff. Let's let's move on. Point I'm trying to make here. If you're eligible, please get the vaccine. It's the responsible thing to do. I have shows coming up and and I want to do them. Yeah, okay, that's the real reason. <laughs> Forget about all the immunocompromised people you're gonna save and all the medical staff that you're helping out. Not important. Get vaccinated so I can tell jokes on stage. For money. <laughs> I'm kidding, obviously. It's a good thing to do. Go get it. All right, next lie. This young man was praying before his meal when a group of liberal atheists mocked him, chanting, prove your God is real. Prove your God is real. It was then his salt shaker fell and the image of Christ the Savior appeared. <laughs> the group of non-believers fell to their knees and prayed for forgiveness. We serve an awesome God. Amen. Yeah, I guess it is pretty awesome that instead of, you know, stopping global warming or world <laughs> hunger or James Charles, God is focused on making big art attacks of his son. God, please, we need your help down there. Okay, there's wildfires, starvation, economic collapse. Please, can you, can you just help us? Yeah, of course I can. Oh my God, thank you so much. <sighs> uh, check it out. Is that a... Uh... Is that Jesus? Jesus? Yeah. yeah. He's my son, you know? No, I, I know that. <laughs> Trust me, I just I just don't see how this helps us. Oh! Ow! Assault! Did you say salt? What? No. That's my son, you know? Oh yeah, also I made a quick art attack reference before that sketch. Uh, and I really hope you guys know what I'm talking about. Remember that show, Art Attack? If you didn't watch Art Attack, the host, Neil Buchanan, he would uh, he would teach he would teach you how to make a bunch of crafts. And like halfway through the episode, he'd be like, it's time for a big art attack. attack. And he'd make this huge design out of like salt or something. And he was tight as fuck. So, okay, the host of Art Attack is God, is what I'm saying. It even confirms it in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who Art Attack in Heaven. Okay, so this next one is a doozy. I have a feeling it might be fake, but I'll let you guys be the judge of that. Okay, so we got a Snapchat picture here. Babe, don't get mad. I gotta show you something. I told my dad yesterday I was gonna see you today, and he thought it would be funny to jump on me to wake me up, and he gave me a hickey. <laughs> I was like, really? This bitch is huge. My mom said I look like white trash. Alex, you got me fucked up. Okay. So, so there's like three possibilities that like explain this picture. One, this was like a funny idea that someone had. So they staged this whole thing for some likes and retweets. That's what I think it is, or that's what I hope it is at least. Possibility two, this is real. And this Alex person cheated on his girlfriend and this was like the best lie that he could come up with. Uh, possibility three, this is real. And Alex's dad actually gave him a hickey. <laughs> as a prank. And look, obviously it's weird as fuck when people sexualize like parent-child relationships. It's like when everybody was freaking out about Tom Brady like kiss kissing his son. It's his son who he loves. He's giving him a kiss. I don't, I don't think that's that big of a deal. But yeah, yeah, maybe don't give your son a hickey, right? I think we can all agree on that. I think as a society, we can draw the line there. I also like in the message, it says, my mom said I look like white trash. Yeah, if uh, if your dad's giving you hickeys, I feel like you are white trash. <laughs> also, bro, it's so funny to imagine this kid, Alex, going to school the next day, if this is true. Yo, Alex, what's good, man? Yo, bro, what's good? Mm, right there, good to see you, buddy. Oh yeah, bro. Wait, hold up. What's that on your neck, dude? Come on, bro, knock it off. It's nothing. Oh, come on, man, let me see it. Oh, that's a big one, dude. Nice. I know, man, it's crazy. <laughs> yeah, that's my man. Yeah, bro, Hell my yeah. dad's hilarious. Yeah, bro, totally. Wait, what? The hickey, it's obviously a, a fucking prank, an epic prank by my dad. Uh, he woke me up this morning. <laughs> Lashed onto my neck like a fucking vampire, dude. <laughs> he got me good. I don't know, dude, that's not normal. Really? I feel like you need to confront him about this. Okay, yeah, now that I think about it, that is a little weird. Okay, thanks, man. I'm gonna go talk to him. All right, good luck. What's up, pranksters? Today, we're gonna gentrify your neighborhood as a goof. Hey, <laughs> Stay hey, tuned. Dad. Oh, hey, son. Hey, what did your uh, what did your girlfriend have to say about that thing, huh? Nothing. Uh, 
She actually broke up with me last night over Snapchat. Hey, why'd you do this? My friend said it's not normal. You know, I always knew this day would come. I just didn't know so soon. Son, we're not from here. Or I'm not from here. Sorry. I'm from a small planet about 30 million light years away from Earth. It was destroyed a hundred years ago in Star Wars 2, Attack of the Clones. I fled that planet to here to start a new life. I met your mother. Your sweet mother. We fell in love a few years later. We had you. Sorry. I guess I'm not a fully transition into this culture because back on my planet, what we call a hickey here on Earth is nothing more but a simple, warm hug. I'm sorry, okay? Lost in translation, I guess. My mistake, it won't happen again, okay? Wow. Dad, I, f I feel like such a jerk. Hey, it's okay. You didn't know. No, really, I'm sorry, Dad. I just... This is a lot to take in, you know? I... <laughs> I can't believe it. Yeah, I mean, take all the time you need. I also can't believe that you fucking fell for that, dude. Idiot. <laughs> What? That's two pranks in one day. What the fuck is wrong with you? Hey, you look like white trash. Mom, what the fuck? All right, we've got another real story that totally happened. So I'll read it first and then I'll reenact it on the green screen. When I was eight, I found my mom a really nice present, earrings, for her birthday while we were at the store. I was gonna pay separately with some pocket money so that it was a surprise for her. Some Karen said, you don't need those, you little rat. You ain't a girl and took them off me. So at this point, eight-year-old me was furious. So while she was away from her shopping cart getting something, I put glue from a nearby shelf on the wheels. It was quick drying stuff, and when she got back, she pushed her cart and it didn't go anywhere. Suddenly the glue snapped or something and she went flying into three people. I don't know what was better, the noise she made or the fact that she was banned forever. <laughs> All right, now you're familiar with the story. Now I present to you the snapping glue incident. Perfect, earrings. This would be great for my mom. You don't need those, you little rat. You ain't a girl. <gasps> what? That was mean. Oh, oh. glue. So yeah, put the glue on the wheels. That'll teach her. Whatever. Stupid bitch. Real. What's going on here? What the heck? Wait, my cart won't move. What? Oh, something's wrong. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> hey, you're banned forever. <laughs> you see? Ridiculous. Pretty obvious without the reenactment, but I thought it'd be funny. If they ended the story with then everybody clapped, then I would have believed it. But you didn't. Sorry. All right, folks, I want to talk about one more thing in this video. There's like a new-ish trend going around on TikTok called shifting. Quick warning before I talk about shifting. If you're into it, if that's your thing, great. Good job. But I learned the hard way from talking about shifting on my podcast that if you say anything even remotely negative about shifting, a lot of people get very mad at you. So if you don't want to hear me poke fun at it, this is your opportunity to uh, click away. All right, fucking idiots, right? I'm kidding. So there's a trend on TikTok where I feel like it's mostly like younger people, you know, teenagers will use guided meditation to transport themselves to their desired reality. Not their physical self, obviously, like their consciousness, I guess. You know, they'll shift to their favorite anime universe or Riverdale or something. <laughs> they'll shift to a reality where, you know, everybody is a drone, you know? But the most popular reality that people shift to is uh, Hogwarts, like Harry Potter. And when I first heard about this, obviously I was like, <laughs> but apparently this is a thing you can do. I will say that it's very weird that out of every possible reality that you could travel to, you choose to just go to school? Fucks up with that. <laughs> you could shift to a reality where you could fly or a reality where you're over six feet, but you're just like, you know what would be awesome? Magic homework. And I know a lot of people have talked about this already, but I'm, I'm including shifting in this video in particular because I don't know, I feel like people are just straight up lying about it. You know what I mean? Call me crazy, but I don't think you went to a secret magic castle in Scotland that trains you to become a magician. And if you're upset with me, 
just shift to a reality where I didn't say this and we're all good. Fuck man, you can tell how careful I'm being talking about this shit. <laughs> I'm terrified of uh, some people from the Harry Potter reality shifting over here being like, hey, I heard you coldest magicians, muggle. I don't want that. If this is a thing you can do, if you can go to other realities, cool, dude. You should be in the MCU. But if you're using it as a form of like escapism or as like a coping mechanism, just be careful. Because if you make a video of yourself hysterically crying because you want to go back to Hogwarts so bad, maybe stop doing that. But hey, what do I know? I've never even been to a damn potions class. <laughs> maybe I'm just getting old. But every time I see a TikTok of someone being like, I went to Hogwarts, my first thought is, no, you didn't. <laughs> no, you fucking didn't. It's like when I made that video about subliminals a few years ago, like when people would claim that like just positive affirmations over and over again would make you look like Ariana Grande. No, it won't. Back to shifting, all the TikToks about it are just people with their hands over their mouths or something and that flashing colors effect with a bunch of text explaining what happened when they shifted. Like no one actually ever like vocally says what happened, which is kind of a red flag for me. For example, this TikTok. Hi, I just got back from shifting realities and I was literally a Slytherin prefect and had all the fucking Hogwarts tea. Cedric Diggory, if you're reading this, you're a hoe. Hit Hagrid up for that premium weed. Yeah? And I can confirm George and Fred were packing. Okay. Weird details to return with. The point I'm trying to make is literally anybody could make a TikTok like this and pass it off as the truth. Watch. I shifted to Hogwarts last night and the craziest thing happened. I walked into potions class and Dobby was twerking his tiny cheeks. He for real popped his fat smelly elf bussy. I'm Voldemort now. See what I mean? But dude, there was one TikTok I saw that really does not help the shifting community at all in terms of like people taking it seriously. So let's watch it. We have all been saying all over the app, I hear everyone say, I want my my letter to Hogwarts, or I wish so bad that Hogwarts could be real. Well, I'm here to tell you that it is. Not just because we saw it in the sky, even though that's like proof. And yesterday I got my letter to Hogwarts. And no, I didn't print it off there. Bro. <laughs> I'd um, I'd like to call bullshit on this one, please. Oh. You're capping, all right? You've activated my cap card. Oh. Let me take off that sorting cap. Oh. It's another joke. We're like Harry Potter and the Goblet of Liar. Oh. I feel like I'm just being mean, but you didn't get a letter from Hogwarts. You know why? Not real. Hasn't JK Rowling done enough damage? We don't need people getting on the internet being like, look at I got, I'm going to magic school. Here's, okay, this is what I think happened. I think she probably told someone that she shifted to Hogwarts. So that person, 100% went to the internet, printed off some fake Hogwarts letter, put it in her mailbox to like mess with her, like epic prank style. That's for sure what happened. But who could pull off such an awesome prank? <laughs> All right, that does it for this episode of Please Stop Lying or Keep It Up. Who knows? Do what you want. I don't care. <laughs> the truth sucks most of the time. So I get why people are just fucking lying and believing these lies. I get it. And if I could shift to another reality, dude, I would do it in a heartbeat. But I'm going to try. How about we put on some calming music? All right. We'll get a meditation going and we will shift from this current reality to the current reality with a capital C because this video is sponsored by current folks banks are weird okay and frankly they stink if I know I have to go to the bank one day the night before I can't sleep because I know I'll have to spend an hour at the bank for something that should take like 30 seconds but with current you don't have to worry about stressful bank trips anymore because current is the future of banking they don't hide information from you like traditional financial institutions current keeps it simple authentic and direct. No hidden fees, no hidden anything, actually. And they have tons of incredible benefits and services, but the most amazing part, everything can be done right on the current app. That's right, folks. No more walking into a stinky old bank. And to make things even cooler, Current and I are giving away $5,000. And all you have to do is click the link in my description, sign up for Current using code Curtis Connor, and we will send 10 people $500. And it's super quick and easy. You can sign up in less than two minutes. So what the heck you waiting for? Also, a few of the people who won $500 in the last Current giveaway I did a few months ago tweeted me saying how hyped they were that they won the $500. 
And that could be you, dude. So yeah, again, click the link in my description, sign up for current using code Curtis Connor to enjoy the future of banking. And you'll also have the chance to be one of 10 lucky people to win $500. All right, thanks again to Current for sponsoring this video. Hope you guys check them out because it helps me out a bunch when you guys check out the sponsors and you can win 500 bucks, dude. So yeah, thanks again to Current for sponsoring the video. Back to me. How fucking good was that segue? The current reality, the current? I'm insane for that. All right, that does it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like the video if you enjoyed it, but only like it with a piece of an egg falling out of your mouth. Leave a comment. Let me know if you've ever shifted. I'd love to uh, I'd love to learn more. Again, it's all in good fun. We're just fucking poking fun out here and having a good time. You can press the subscribe button if you want, uh, because as soon as you press the subscribe button, you become a valued citizen of Curtis Town. If you didn't know, Curtis Town is the best place to live in the world. And I'm the mayor, so you have to be nice to me. It's the law. Yeah, you can check the description for the other things I do. My Instagram, my Twitter, my weekly podcast called Very Really Good. We got a Patreon for the podcast with weekly bonus episodes now. A gaming channel, my Twitch, merch, all that crap. But yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. I would stick around, but unfortunately I have to go. I have fucking defense against the, the dark arts now. So bye-bye. Yeah. <laughs>